great city of Humboldt, Tennessee, where the proud pastor is the pastor Albert Silver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Please comment using the hashtag Have Some Miracles this morning. We are so glad to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. We know that we are social distancing, but one thing we know about God, that God is not bound by social, social distancing or distance at all, for he is a present help in the time of storm. Amen. At this moment in time, we're going to ask for Elder Darnell Tate to come with our invocation, and then we're going to move into our service. Amen. Amen. Put those hands together for us. Amen. If you can, where you are, just about your radius, gracious and eternal God, we do bless you, God, for this opportunity to come boldly to the throne of grace. God, we thank you, God, for everything that you have done this far. Even though things may not be as well as we think they should, but God, we do bless your name, God, for you have given us life and health and strength up until this point. We ask you, God, to touch everyone wherever they may be, and God, strengthen them where they may be found weak. Because, God, we know that you are a God of your word, and your word we are going to stand on. You said your word that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word will forever stand. You also said in your word that we declare, God, that the promises of a God are yes and they are amen. And, Father, we bless you, Lord, for what you're going to do and how you're going to have your way. Touch the sick and bereaved, God. Touch our senators, our president, God, everybody that feels the leadership, God. We ask you, God, to touch him in a mighty way. Father, as we pray, we pray for the angel of this house, our pastor, Albert K. Simmons, God. Touch him, give him a word, God, to encourage the people. And these words are other words we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to get ready to go before the Lord in song at this time. How many glad to be alive? Amen. 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 Glad to be in the land of the living and yes. 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 He didn't have to do it, but he did it one more time. Amen. Amen. Come on. I know you're at home in the bed, but can you just help me out?
in the God's hand. I want to say that out there in social media land that whatever you need is in the hand of our God. Amen. 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 If you will, just stand in your living room, stand where you are, and put your hands together and help us sing this song.
that as you're at home right now, that you would lift your hands and begin to say something good to the Father. Just begin to open your mouth and tell him how good he is, oh, yes. and how worthy he is, and how mighty he is, and how awesome he is. What we're going to do at this moment in time, we're going to invite God to come in the room. Yes. We know that God is our online presence, God, meaning that he can be everywhere at the same time. And we believe God today that he's coming into your room even now, and he's touching you right where you are right now. And whatever you need from him, he's able to do that and then some. Amen.
Yeah. It's the word of God that, amen, that changed our lives. It's the word of God that you're going to need in times like this. And it seems like trouble is on every hand. There's trouble. You can't even find food in the grocery stores. You, you can't find things in your life that you need. Can I tell you something? Amen. God has a word from him. Amen. 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 I don't want to know about who's going with who. I want to know the latest news. All I want to know is what is God saying? Amen. I want you to understand as you're watching it today because some of you may be fearful and wondering about whether we're going to survive this. But I came to tell you, I serve a God that has survived more than this. Amen. I serve a God that survived the death angels in the book of Exodus. I don't have to help you. You ought to just look at somebody around in your house and say, I serve a mighty God. Clap your hands and give God praise while you're at home. Because praise will confuse your enemy. And so the word of God was so powerful that when Jesus was tempted of the devil, the Bible says that the enemy tempted him with bread after he had fasted 40 days. And you got to watch the devil. Every time Paul said, I try to do good, evil is present on every hand. Every time I said, I ain't going to do it no more, I ain't going to say it no more, seemed like here comes the enemy. But I also heard him say, but thanks be to God that gives us the victory. I want you to know today, it don't matter what you're going through. It don't matter what they said about you. It don't matter how they gave up on you. You got a God that can give you the word at the right time. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. The Bible said that the enemy came to him after 40 days. And he said to him, Lord, he said unto him, he tried to get him to bow down. He knew that God was hungry, that his flesh was hungry. And so he tried to tell him, he said, if you be God, turn these stones into bread. But how many know when you get in trouble, you're going to need a word? Somebody's watching me now. You've been out all night long, and you're wondering what to do. The coronavirus is not bothering you, but you're going through something in your life that you need help. I came to tell you that help is on the way. That you got a God that won't quit. I don't care if they call it every church down. You got a God that'll help you. Amen. Well, my friends, the Bible says, and I feel like preaching, but I'm not. But the Bible says that, that Jesus was hungry. Yeah. And, and the Bible says that he looked around and he asked, what can I whoop this devil for? Can I give you a word, somebody that's watching me? You're not going to whoop the devil by alcohol. You're not going to whoop him by smoking blunts. You're not going to whoop him by drinking and walking around. You're going to need a word in your life. The Bible says Jesus looked at the devil and said, Man, shall I live by bread alone? Amen. But by every word that proceeded out of the box of God, it was the word that put the devil out. Y'all ought to say amen. amen. The Bible says that there was a prophet named Hezekiah. The Bible says, friends, while you're watching, that Hezekiah got sick. And the Bible says that the prophet Isaiah stopped by his house. Can I tell a miracle or something and those that are watching? You don't need no money. You don't need no boyfriend. You don't need no car. All you need is the word in your house. If you get the word in your house, the devil will have to get out of your house. If you get the word in your house, the enemy that planned to kill you can't kill you. If you get the word in your house, he is a cancer buster. Somebody clap your hands and say yes. Yeah. And he said to Hezekiah, you're going to die and you're not going to live. Mm -hmm. He told Hezekiah, surely you're going to die. Here's the thing, friend of mine, we got prophets everywhere now. People are declaring themselves prophets. But I want to warn you, there's some false prophets out there. They're prophesying what they saw on Facebook. They saw you typing stuff. They saw your posts. And, and they got the nerve to say, God told me to tell you. But the devil is a liar. God got some real prophets in the land. First sign of a real prophet is, is that what they say comes to pass. They ain't got to read your posts. They ain't got to ask your friends. But God gives them the word at the right time. Somebody say, yeah, yeah. And so what happened, y'all holding? I feel like preaching, though. And so the Bible said that Hezekiah got sick and, and he laid on his bed and he was about to die. And maybe somebody's watching me feel hopeless. Maybe you feel like there's no way out. Maybe somebody's told you that it ain't going to work. Maybe your marriage is falling apart. And maybe you're about the verge of a divorce. But I came to tell you, don't hit that panic button. You ought to just stop yourself and say, I can't hit the panic button. Because I got to let God get in. 
The Bible says that he needed a word from God. And, and the Bible says that Hezekiah was walking out of the temple. And, and can I tell you something? Maybe they walked out on you. Maybe they told your church didn't do you right there. Maybe they hurt you while you were in church. But I want to invite you to come on back home. Because God's got a word for you. Somebody say yeah. yeah, yeah.
but it's the word of God ah, that's going to get you through this stuff. Ah. And so Jeremiah wrote, ah, can I tell y'all something? Ah, I'm glad to hear the president. Ah, I'm glad to hear the army. Ah, but I'd rather hear from God. Ah, Jeremiah the prophet. Ah, somebody better listen now. Ah, he began to write. Ah, and God told Jeremiah, ah, you better tell Judah ah, that I'm going to give them ah, because they won't listen. Ah, when the word of God comes, ah, I don't mind dancing. Ah, I don't mind shouting. Ah, I don't even mind singing. Ah, but I'd rather have the word ah, to save my life. Ah, somebody watching it now. Ah, your little girl is sick. Ah, and you coming up to a woman. Seem like ah, she's getting worse and worse. Ah, I prophesy to you now. Ah, I command her to be healed ah, in the name of Jesus. Ah, somebody ought to pray about that. Ah, maybe it ain't your child. Ah, it's rather help me pray. Can you say yes? Can you say yes? The people of Judah ah, have forgotten about God. Ah, ain't strange now. In the midst of Corona, uh, everybody wants to know uh, what's going on. Uh, but you're trying the wrong person. Uh, yes, you tried, man. Uh, but I dare you to try Jesus. Uh, there are some things in my life uh, that have been so bad uh, that I just need uh, one word from the Lord. One word. Somebody hold your fingers and say one word. One word. Simply say one. Maybe uh, you ain't no heart. Bring Jeremiah. When you need a word, 
a man and a woman. Uh, that God gives the word to. Uh, it's a man and woman of God. Uh, God gonna use somebody. Uh, somebody that's watching their live. Uh, before this Friday. Uh, God gonna put somebody in your way. Uh, that's gonna give you a word from God. Uh, they may not have on a long dress. Uh, they may not have a burden on their head. Uh, but they gonna have a word from the Lord. Uh, somebody shout one word.
Somebody said, Pastor, some of I did so bad. You just don't know what I did. I came to tell you that he's a forgiving God. Yeah. 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 see you there as you want. Yeah. You feel like giving up and quitting. Yeah. And I tell you something, God loves you. Yeah. Don't quit now. Yeah. You're almost to your blessing. Yeah. The Bible says this about peace. Peace is not the absence of trouble, but it's the blessed assurance yes, God. that in the midst of your trouble, you know without a doubt that God got you. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's watching me. You haven't had peace. You're wondering, am I going to go back to work? Am I going to lose my house? Am I going to lose my car? I came to tell you, if you get a word from God, you're not going to lose what you're going to gain. Amen. Amen. God will call us to prosper in hard times so that he can be glorified. That's why man can't see COVID-19, but we got a God that see all things. Yeah. He never sleeps. Let me just say this to you. Zedekiah had enough sense to say, Lord, and you should do this today. Those that are watching me after we get off the earth. Stop asking people stuff. Get off the phone. Shut the phone down. Get in your secret place on your knees. Try this and see if it works. And say, Lord, is there anyone from you? Can you help me? Friends, I came to tell you that he'll help me. He'll change your life. Mm -hmm. All he's waiting on is he's waiting on you. You ought to call your sister, your cousin this evening and say, I heard a man of God say that it's not too late. Mm -hmm. Somebody feel like it's too late, but it's not too late. Yeah. Let me tell you, anything you lose, God will give you something better. Yeah. Somebody say, well, Pastor, some of I messed up. You're watching and you're saying, you just don't know, man, how I messed up. It's no way I can do it. I can't yeah. tell you. He'll go in prison. Yes, he will. Yes. And he'll say it where it is. One songwriter said to the utmost, he said, play some song. Uh, play it over now. Um, I just want to say this as we close. When Zedekiah prayed, God showed up with Jeremiah. And can I tell you this as we close today? If you're not saved, and you want to be saved, you don't have to be in a building. You don't have to be in your clothes. You can, you can do it right there in your home. You can do it in your car. You can do it in your job. You can run to the bathroom and say, excuse me, y'all, but I gotta go to the bathroom. Get in there by yourself. And say, go. I just want to be said, pull over on the side of the highway and just say, wait a minute, y'all. I, I got to give my life to the Lord because times are serious. The truth is, we don't know what's going to come after this. And you're going to need blood insurance. I know you got my I know you got life. I know you got business insurance. My question to you as I close is, do you have blood insurance? Like, what is blood insurance? I know you're saying, what is blood insurance? Blood insurance is the blood that Jesus died on Calvary. Yeah, one Friday evening. Then he do it somebody. Yeah. He died for all of our sins. See, it, it don't matter that I have a million dollars and don't go to heaven. Don't you miss heaven. God is speaking in these last evil days. If you're not saved, you can lift your hands right now. I'm going to pray the, the sinner's prayer, just a prayer of forgiveness. You pray along with me. You ain't got to be in no building, but you can be good right there where you are. Don't care about what folks say about their you If you quit the church, give the church another chance. Give God another chance. Because we all are imperfect, but if you give God another chance. There's some pastor that's watching me as a, right now as we're praying. God is about to turn your ministry into greatness. He's about to elevate you because you've been faithful over a few things. And that's what I tell people. People want a McDonald's. And it ain't nothing against McDonald's. They want a microwave mirror. But every mirror, before every mirror comes some suffering. Yes, it does. If there's anybody watching you, you say, Pastor, I've been suffering. That's the good news is you're closer than you think to your prayer. Clap your hands off. Somebody here, lift your hands, those of you looking and watching you. Let's pray. I'm gonna pray. Just say these words for me. Say, Father, I come in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this day. Thank you for the word of God that saved my life. Now, God, I ask that you would forgive me of all my sins. I want to be saved. I believe you died and got up on the third morning. Oh,
all my sin. Forgive me now. In Jesus' name. Now clap your hands right there for that time. Now just repeat this is important. Now say, God, fill me with the Holy Ghost so that I might live a life that's right, living present to you. That's pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name. Now say, my faith. I believe that I am saved. I am healed. I've just been delivered by His power. Say, Jesus, clap your hands. Come on down here. Come on down here. Come on down here. Come on down Thank you for joining me with us. The praise team for doing an awesome job. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock on your Monday night Facebook page or either our YouTube church channel. That's at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. And we want to say that we love you. We appreciate you. Those that are here, y'all give a big deal as we go off the air. Y'all give.